President Moon Jae-in has been working to jumpstart his diplomatic agenda after a month-long holdup resulting from the previous administration's massive power abuse scandal. He met with three of his special envoys who returned to Korea last week. Hwang Woo-jin gets us up to speed with efforts to normalize foreign affairs. On Monday morning, South Korean President Moon Jae-in summoned the special envoys he sent to Russia, the European Union, and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, who all delivered President Moon's personal messages to the leaders of their assigned states, and who returned to South Korea last week. Attending the meeting were the Democratic Party's Song Yong Gil, who'd been sent to Russia, Seoul Mayor Park Won Sun, envoy to ASEAN, including visits to Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia, and Sogang University Professor Cho Yun Jae, who went to the EU and who also stopped in Germany. During the meeting, President Moon stressed how important it is to cultivate good relations with Asian and European nations, especially Russia, calling Song's meeting with Vladimir Putin a great achievement, as it was the first time a special envoy from South Korea personally met with Russia's president. And according to Moon, it can help provide a strong hand to Seoul when handling Seoul Pyongyang relations. Russia uh, is a very important country. 어, 우리가 이 시베리아 이런 자원 개발에 참여한다든지 또 북극 항로 어, 개척에도 참여하고 우리가 북극 항로를 또 이용하는 문제라든지 우리 철도를 북한을 거쳐서 시베리아 아, 그런 철도하고 연결해서 유럽까지 가게 하는 그런 이제 미래를 어, 이제 내가 본다면 그 러시아와의 그런 관계 구축을 통해서 the spokesperson for the presidential office of Chawadek confirmed that President Moon is serious in advancing the current relations Seoul has with Moscow. President Moon ordered to draw a line between cooperated projects between South Korea and Russia and the three-party cooperated projects which includes North Korea, and to speed up our cooperative projects with Russia regardless of the progress of inter-Korean relations. President Moon's diplomatic agenda is coming together now less than a month since his inauguration. His envoys managed to lock in some big summit meetings in the coming months, the first one being with President Trump in Washington in late June. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.